Hello, this is Pastor Jimmy Harper. Thanks for listening to this Lee University broadcast. We're excited that you are joining us today for one of our many campus events. We hope that you are encouraged as you listen. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Uh, my name is J.R. Lilly. I am the chairman of the Diversity Council. My name is Claire. I'm the secretary on the Diversity Council. Thank you for joining us today in diversity and worship. Yeah, today's chapel is sponsored by the Diversity Council, uh, which includes all six of our diversity clubs. Those clubs include Asian Council, World African Student Association, the International Student Fellowship, Familia Unidia, Emoja, and the Bohemian Connection Club. 242. Love it. Um, today's chapel service is going to be a kickoff for a series of different events and activities promoting global awareness and multiculturalism. Um, in fact, tonight, Familia Unida is going to be having a Fiesta Latina, uh, 7 p.m. in Alumni Park. Also, next week, we are partnering with the Office of Global Perspectives to bring you Global Week, which starts on Monday with Interfaith Society, Culture Cafe on Wednesday, World's Fair on Thursday, and Africa Topricana on Friday. Exciting. Hope you all get to join us for these fun activities. There's going to be plenty of food, plenty of people. Great time. Join us. Uh, you really can see, like, the whole world just will stand out here on campus. It's so amazing. You can also stop by the International Students Office at the Mayfield Annex to find out more about what the Diversity Council is doing on campus. Niceness. Um, I'm really excited about um, today's service. Are you? Definitely. Um, we're going to hear from people all around the world, including Nepal, Nigeria, China, Romania, India, and even Americans. <laughs> yes. Um, do you know what I like best about bringing all these different people together? What? Uh, let me put it this way. When I was in Israel, the rabbis talked about God, and when they referred to him, they talked about him being a 70-sided diamond that he has 70 different faces. So when you look into one of the faces, you see the whole picture. You see the rest of the faces, and you bring multiple faces of God together. So what you're saying is that there's not just one image of God, but many different ways you can see him. That's pretty cool. <laughs> exactly. The, um, the best image of God we can get is not for just from looking at one face of the diamond, but from taking a step back and looking at everything together. Um, bringing all the different and diverse images of God together. That God is so great that we can't even begin to understand it. I mean, it is God after all. It is kind of a big deal. Yes, he is. Uh, did you know that mankind was made in his image? Yeah. Who doesn't know that? <laughs> awesome. Uh, think, about, think, think about this. When, God, when Adam and Eve was made in God's image, they were told to, they were commanded to go forth and multiply, Right. And as they did, they began to progress, and over the span of human history, they began to grow uh, to the Tower of Babel. So this is how we got people from so many different languages and cultures. Yes, exactly. And uh, it even gets better. From, so it starts in Genesis from the beginning with Adam and Eve, and it goes throughout the Bible. But in the end, in Revelation, God brings everyone back together for the biggest multicultural service you ever bring, where he brings every tribe, every nation, every tongue together, worshiping before the throne. Wow, today is really going to be a great service. And of course, to start it all, we're going to begin with the Lord's Prayer. Yes, um, we're going to be doing the Lord's Prayer. You'll hear it in different languages, but um, you'll also hear the English version up on the chapel slide. And then we're going to go into praise and worship. Then we're going to hear a testimony from one of our students from China. Then we're going to hear from Lydia and Raymark doing some classical pieces for us. Then we're going to hear from the Africans doing a drum circle and some other African worship. Then we'll bring it to a closing with our one and only amazing Fajoy Johnson. Awesome. Baba wa timbe ni orun. Kafi bo wa foru kore. Vie mparetia ta, faka se voya ta, precum în cer și pe pământ. Ambrodin Vericovos as a Hamilai Dinos. Perdona nuestras deudas, como nosotros también perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Pusia omen yujen shitan, jo omen toli shungo. Hala a yo di india, agoni die, nehola ye adot, ado bizi, 
ni hozida ni da ayo at e ta ko de do amen
sing, dear God, that you may just send your Holy Spirit, dear God, to help us, dear God, with everything we need, dear God, to move forward, dear God, and do the things that we have to do here in the dear God. And I pray that you may just continue to touch us and strengthen us, dear God, as we go forth, dear God, with our studies. And I pray that you may continue to bless us, guide us, keep us, and protect us, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Well, do you guys know uh, what does that mean? Wow, you guys are pretty good, actually. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, this means hello, how are you? And um, um, <clears throat> uh, my name is Jashi, and uh, I'm from China, Beijing, and uh, I'm business major and junior um, at Lee. So uh, today I'm going to share a, a short testimony about um, how did I become Christian when I was in China, and also um, some information about Christianity in China. Um, in my family, um, my parents became Christian um, at the first, and then me. Um, before, uh, we be before we decided to become Christian, um, my whole family were bu uh, were Buddhists, and um, we never like we have never read Bible before, and um, we really didn't know um, who is God and also who is Jesus. Well, um, we have heard the name of God, which is that word God, and also we have heard Jesus that word, but um, and also we have heard you know the guy whose name is Jesus, like who died on the cross, but. We really um, don't exactly know, like, you know, what does that mean? You know, I, we really don't know, like, why did he die on cross? Like, and also we don't know, like, um, anything about God. And also, uh, just like I said, we were uh, Buddhists before. So my whole family, like my parents and my grandparents, so we thought, you know, the Buddhas are on the same level with God. God, you know, just like a Western God, not, you know, for um, he's not an Asian God, Asian God. So um, it was hard, I mean, for us to uh, receive the, the message from God. And also um, when we received the message from God, uh, from, from, from the missionary, it was hard for us to accept it. But around 80 years ago, um, my father met a Church of God missionary. And he came to China, and then um, he shared the gospel to my father. So my father decided to become Christian at that time. He received the message. Um, and then, but, you know, like I said, like, he didn't know anything about God before. So that was his time. I mean, that was his first time to, you know, decide to become Christian. So he was a little af um, afraid of Buddha, you know, like, changing the religion. So... So he didn't um, tell me and my mom about God in the first two years. Well, um, because, like, he afraid of, like, anything happened to the family. But, you know, God is love and his mercy. And um, he helped my father in his life. And um, he has done so many great things for him. I mean, helped my father, his work and everything. So after two years, my father built a strong faith, and he finally decided to, you know, share the gospel to me and my mom. And then um, me and my mom, we decided to become Christian because we knew my dad is not going to share anything bad to us because he loves us. So, um, but at the beginning, you know, like we didn't know how to pray, how to worship God. Well, like when we read the Bible, you know, like um, it's so confusing, especially the Old Testament. Well, you know, but when you open your heart to God, he's not, he, he's not going to let you, you know, go away. 
He will be stay with you, and um, he will put the Holy Spirit in your heart, and then like he will help you to understand his words, and he will help you to understand how to worship him. So um, he has done so many great things in my in my family, like in my life, in my parents' life, and um, even my grandparents um, were received the message. They were around like eighty years old, you know. Old people are more stopper, well. <laughs> but you know, God is. I mean, nothing is impossible to Him. You know, <laughs> well, and um, I totally believe like um, He has a great plan in my life, and also I definitely believe He has great plan for everyone. And um, also, He is doing a great job. I mean, um, to my country, China, like. Um, Around the year 1949, there are less than um, one million people are Christian in China. But after 60 years, which is now, um, we have more than 100 million people are Christian in China. And every day, we have around 25,000 people becoming Christian. And uh, China um, is becoming the... the um, fattest, uh, you know, Christian population uh, growing country in the whole world. And the city I'm from, Beijing, um, is, the population is around 70 million, and we have like three, about 3,000 house churches in Beijing. Well, so God is definitely like doing his great work in the, you know, the whole Chinese nation. And, um, you know, if he decides to do some work, no one can stop him. Like, well, and also I praise him, and um, thank you. God bless you. Good morning. Oh, so loud. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Lydia Montiel. I'm a freshman here at Lee, it's my second semester, and I'm from Asuncion, Paraguay. Hello, um, my name is Raymark Sopranki. I was uh, born in the Philippines, I'm in my island of Mindanao. Um, me and Lydia are here to show you that no matter what your background is, you can come to the same roof, worship the same God through music.
together, let's put our hands together for Lydia and Raymond. That was beautiful. Um, I'm glad it's Diversity Chapel and it's an opportunity for we Africans to display the way Africans worship in Nigeria. So I think it's beautiful. We, we worship like David does in the Bible. Because the Bible talks about David in the Bible and worships like so crazy. He's, he's, he's just in the Lord. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. He doesn't care about whoever is beside him. And anything. So we feel we just want to showcase to you how we worship. I hope you enjoy this and be blessed. Thanks.
I hope you all were blessed by that. Now we're going to call on Fijoy to come up and give us the closing prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Yes. Thank you guys. You may be sitting for about a minute or two. My name is Fijoy Johnson. Um, I was born in India. I came to the States when I was nine years old. Um, my family lives in Dallas, Texas. Go Longhorns. Anybody Texas fans here? All right. Um, as I came to the States when I was nine years old, there was a lot of myth about Indians. Um, my parents do not own a hotel or a motel <laughs> or a gas station. Thank you for coming. We don't speak like that. There were a lot of myths. I remember first getting off a plane on April Fool's Day in Dallas, Texas, and I saw snow for the first time in my life. I was like, what's going on? I had some nice dress shoes on, I slid all the way down. It was a change for me. But one thing that my parents always taught me was do not ever forget where you came from. Even when I'm 30 years old now, even when I go home, there's a rule in my house that I cannot speak any other tongue than my native tongue. My parents are very strict till this day. My little nephew is six years old. He speaks better than I do. Um, I want to encourage each one of you guys to get to know. And we all have one thing in common. We all have one thing in common. And that's this right here. Someone just sent to me a while back. And it says, diversity is one true thing we all have in common. Celebrate it every day. I want to get, don't worry about the status quo or anything like that. Get to know your neighbors. Get to know me. If you ever want Indian food, let me know. I can take you down to Chattanooga <laughs> for some good curry. All right? But I just want to encourage you. Get to know your people. Residence halls. Get to know different kind of diversity in your own place you come in contact with. That's the one thing we all have in common. And I was so excited for an opportunity like this that we can all come together and show the different talents, the different way we worship. But one thing is we all worship one God. It does not matter the form or the way. The main focus is that we worship one God. And I just want to encourage you like that. So, you know, is William here? No. You know, William had this myth that we all fly around magic carpet in India. <laughs> you know? Like the movie Aladdin. You see the movie Aladdin? We don't fly around carpets or anything like that. We, we do go on elephants and stuff. So if you ever want to go to India, I can take you on an elephant. People just, when you're driving in a car, you see an elephant right next to you, going down the street with you. So you will see stuff like that. But I just want to encourage you. Thank you, Dr. Mike Hayes and the Office of Student Life for doing a diversity chapter. So let's go do that for the rest of the semester. Get to know your neighbors. Let's celebrate diversity every single day of our life. Let's stand to our feet. And I'm going to pray in Indian. Then I'll uh, end with the college benediction. Let us pray. Sorgasnaya Pidabe. Idavala Sametun in the Sunny Little Bedouin. Younger Jim Kyoti Kelsutanai Stotran Chainu. Paladajing on the one the younger Kadev Testudikanum. Mouth of Bertoni with the Sametanai Stotran Chainu. Elan David and Nani Baranyonda. Ang istudi kay mau to perdeng chino. Yella mishu in the naam of the name. Amen. Now let the words of my mouth, acceptable in my sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And one more thing, thank you for coming.